Okay, so let, let's exchange information. Information? Yeah. Let's exchange yeah. information. Right. We get out of the glove compartments. Okay, I'm a Gemini. My favorite color is petal pink. I like long walks and kittens. <laughs> well, hello everyone. I hope you all got to the movies this week. Today, Grandma has gone to see Nocturnal Animals, which is a uh, modestly complicated uh, but very sort of tense adult drama. Yes. And do my best to sort of summarize it thusly. Uh, Amy Adams plays an art gallery uh, director, I guess, and she has her own sort of problems in her life. Her husband is, is uh, not uh, being faithful to her and she's got various other things that are making her depressed. She one day gets a manuscript in the mail from her ex-husband who uh, is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. And, um, and well, no, that's his name. Uh, the, the character's name. Uh, and the majority of the film is really taken up with uh, her, her reading the story and it all being dramatized to, uh, to us. Uh, the, the main character in the book is also played by Jake Cullen Hall. Uh, so there's some sort of a, a connection there perhaps between the character and the person who wrote it. And Again, the story is, again, uh, quite violent uh, about a man and his wife and teenage daughter who are basically uh, stopped out in uh, the middle of the night in West Texas on a dark, deserted road by uh, three uh, uh, hooligans. hooligans, punks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and... I thought they were the nocturnal animals. Well, that's another way of putting it. Preying, sure. preying on their victims. I'm, I'm sure that's another way of, of seeing it. Yes. Um, it's hard to give away, hard to describe it too much without uh, giving away a lot of the story. Uh, uh, they are... Uh, Basically, the, the, the wife and the daughter are basically kidnapped by the hooligans. The man is uh, abandoned out in the wilderness, again, in the middle of the night, out in the middle of nowhere. And um, I, gu I guess we have to say, again, that the, the uh, daughter and the, the, uh, the wife, the mother, get uh, killed by the hooligans. And then the rest of the film is basically uh, the husband, father, trying to he uh, deals with that. Trying, trying to find the uh, the, the hooligans with the help of uh, a policeman played, played by Michael Shannon. Um, what do you think, Grandma? Well, I held my breath most of the time. The story is very emotionally grabbing, violent, and you don't know what's going to happen next. The story is very involved, complicated. The hero, the father, who survives this violent attack in the middle of, of the desert, is left alone and the rest of the story is how he deals with that emotionally, physically, emotionally, and he, he's obsessed with finding the hooligans, finding, unfortunately, he was very much injured during the attack, and so his, he doesn't know whether to trust his memories or not, you know, as the story progresses and, and uh, 
the policeman who is helping him with this um, crusade to find these three guys responsible for destroying his family. Um, emotionally, he's distraught. And the filmmakers and the actors are absolutely terrific at pulling the audience into this emotional chaos that's happening. Not just to Edward, the main character, but to Susan and some of the other people in the story. I thought, I'm not sure if uh, you would go to this film to be entertained. <laughs> this is not an entertaining film. No, it's not an entertainment. No, but it is suspenseful and gripping. Very, very powerful, I thought. So as far as that goes, I enjoyed the film. Sort of. <laughs> so, uh, it accomplished its mission as far as I was concerned, as I did hold my breath most of the film. What did you think? It was... Well, again, it was, uh, it's, this is a, uh, luckily, I would, I would say, an example of, again, where you do have some films that aren't sort of uh, you know, re repeats of things that we've seen before. Again, it's no. it, it, whether it was the story she was reading or the story that she was living. Uh, again, this is a, something that's unique, and again, you, you really have to give them a lot of credit yes. for uh, the writer and the director for. Being so original. For being so original, yes. Yeah. Uh, again, I, I, I think that again, it was very interesting the way that they wove the two stories together. And um, it was so plausible. Yes. I mean, anybody who has driven through West Texas knows about those long stretches of straight ahead highway, and there's no one there. No one there. And it's, it's quite plausible what happens to them when these two cars full of hooligans um, force them off the road. I mean, they try their best, you know, as any driver would, to get away when they realize right. what's happening. Again, it's, but it's... It's so plausible. I mean, it's yes. something that again, could happen to anyone. Again, it's very, it's very, very well... Very scary. It's, well, it's again, it's, very that's... Scary. that's it shows you the quality of writing again. Yes. It, it's again, it's very well written and act. I, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, you're you're right to sort of warn people that they know what they they're getting into with this film. But it's again, it's not a sit back, eat your popcorn, and laugh and enjoy and be, you know be entertained. No. no, this is a film that pulls you in and won't let you go. And while it's and while it's exciting, it's exciting in a scary sort of yes, way that again you, scary. you uh, horrifying yeah. way. Oh yes. So again, I would recommend it. What about you? Grandma? Yes, I would. But to go prepared, it's very very well done. It is so well done that you have your emotions trod on, as well as as our hero. Yes. Very well done. Yes, I would recommend. Two thumbs up. Oh, okay. Two thumbs up. Positively. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But go ready. <laughs> Brace yourself.